Well, hello. If you are uh, watching this video, it's most likely because you uh, rented this unit from me. Uh, I'll be doing a quick walkthrough of how things work, uh, what you can expect. So let's get started over here. This is your sleeping area. Oh, back out here. And uh, okay, right here we have uh, one area where you can sit. It's just a single seater. This would be number two, number three. There are two on each side so three four five six seven so you can safely travel with seven people in the unit um we put this gate for our two-year-old so he doesn't cross over there when we're driving uh if you have a baby you can ask me for it i'll provide it for free uh but yeah so there's a window there if you need some airflow open it up super easy as you can tell the unit does come with an awning most of these don't, so that was actually an option that we purchased. I uh, got some storage up here, more storage over here, uh, the main door, fire extinguisher right there. The door does have two locks. So essentially this is your deadbolt and this locks the handle. So if I go like that, now you can go up, but now the deadbolt's holding you. So if I open it like that, then we can open the entire thing. Uh, right here, the stove, uh, just standard hood light. That's your exhaust, high, off, low. Microwave works the same way that the one you have at home. Um, all the lights here, by the way, are individual. So turn it on and off. And that's the only one that has just a single on and off setting. This one right here actually has two settings. So you can go like that. So go uh, this is the handle for when you're kind of getting up here if you have some people sleeping up here and this is the foot area so when you're climbing up put your foot here grab onto this thing and then you climb more storage more storage there's another one of those lights and it's also the dual mode type uh, as you can tell this is upgraded upholstery so it's a lot nicer these things right here uh for a baby what do you call a car seat um or a booster seat you can secure it onto this this is secure to the frame uh which is really nice so you get two of them actually so you can have two kids see, um sitting here uh and then you do have two over there and then there is i'll show you the uh seat belts they just kind of chill under here um really easy to use there you go it's back on uh, these right here are velcroed um, and these are blackout curtains that actually do a pretty good job of blocking most of the light um, Oh, yeah, let's go to the stove now uh, Well, just so you know that maybe let's, let's go over here. You do have fire extinguisher here. That's gonna turn on your little night lights There's three of them. There's another one in the bathroom and then this one right here turns on the outside light um, over on the dinette pretty easy to uh undo here but once you take this guy out this tube looking thing it actually stores right here you just shove it in there and you're good to go uh this is all of your electrical it's going to be right here so if i open that up you're going to see the breakers the fuses all of that stuff uh stove pretty easy so you can see this one right here is going to be this burner i'll just turn it to light spark and i get my light Pretty simple um, storage more storage right here this isn't storage this is uh, to access some of the components here so don't put anything in there uh, no don't put anything in there either but there is plenty of storage don't worry uh, here's this little cubby thing where I don't know we keep that little brush or storage 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 um, I do provide this little um, garbage can, and it kind of fits perfectly under the bed, which is great. Um, let's see, fridge. Let's start from the top. Freezer. It's nice and big. Quite. Oh, you can see all of that. Pretty spacious. Uh, this right here, my recommendation. Um, we have it pretty full right now. You can kind of tell. It's, I mean, it's packed. And... Uh, it's plenty cold at four. So I normally leave it at four. 
this right here this is a dual or a two-way fridge it runs on 30 amp power or on propane i always leave it on auto because the fridge is smart and it's going to pick whichever one is available uh down here this is the furnace uh where the uh heat comes out of right here you have some more storage um storage 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 that's a silverware that you can get uh which is optional as well um this is a huge closet we love it over here you do get sink and this is metal it's really nice it's not going to you know get all dirty on you um this is an outlet that is protected and just so you know if you're trying to run your outlet i'll zoom in that one which has two outlets and two usbs if you're trying to run that and you're not getting power is because you have to reset this guy so if i turn that off you'll see that the light turned off turn it back on and boom um this thing right here does have a bunch of really cool modes so you can change the color of it uh there's different modes uh that you can choose between it's pretty cool uh, this thing that i do provide comes with uh, an extra outlet thing right there another one on this side this is your main sink just open it for cold water turn it this way hot water and this thing does move around um let's see so we went over the fridge the microwave the stove we went over how to use this thing um i guess a quick thing and i'll just mention it when you're turning this into a dinette you want to take this out and it snaps from the bottom too i'm just gonna put this right here for now and then there's like a locking mechanism right here what you're gonna do is lift like this it's gonna come off and then hold it with both hands and it kind of will swivel down it'll sit you know under the cushions and then you're good to go so to put it back as a dinette you swivel up push against the wall that will make it lock you use this guy right here and there you go pretty easy um i just pretty much did that with one hand um i do provide you a broom so again you're welcome this is currently blacked out mostly <laughs> um but you can get an idea of how it works you know as we are actually camping right now it's pretty cool you kind of get to see my setup um there are privacy curtains for the top area so there's one right over there one right here those are your privacy curtains right here for uh the front of the of the unit these close all the way these close all the way that's uh, the foggy, whatever, uh, uh, glass things. You don't have to worry about that. Privacy curtain over there. You do have this right here. Um, but I'll walk right now over uh, the sleeping quarters here. This is technically a queen bed. Uh, it's what they call an RV queen. Uh, we've actually slept up to three. Uh, two adults and one kid here. Uh, pretty comfortably, actually. The bed is comfortable, surprisingly. You have storage and more storage right here and does go all the way to the back and more storage right here those are speakers and they are controlled from the front of the unit so you can listen to music as you're driving there's a light there another light right here both of them are the the dual uh operation uh light this is the exit, emergency exit, just so you know. Make sure you do know that uh, in case something does happen. You have a couple hooks up here for, uh, you know, jackets, towels, clothes. You have another light up here. Um, this guy right here to get some ventilation. Uh, there is no fan in this one, uh, but uh, you can raise that up if it's too warm at night. Here's the bathroom got uh, toilet paper i provide you with the campers aid kit which does come with toilet paper and it's special toilet paper just so you know it's especially made for rv so it's meant to, meant to dissolve and all of that uh well this is your towel hanger area shower um this does come out like this Put that back 
in there. Um, a skylight uh, gives you more height too if, uh, if you're too tall. Uh, pretty pretty comfortable shower actually. I showered this morning. You have another one of those slides here. Um, and then this right here, you turn it over, turn it on, and that's your exhaust fan uh, for uh, when you're using the toilet. Close this guy up now. Uh, toilet. This is actually, uh, what do you call it? Ceramic toilet. Uh, so it's more heavy duty. It's nicer to use. Um, we give it to you, treat it. Uh, so you can expect it to not get clogged up or to smell bad. Um, the operation of the toilet, I guess, holds them into this thing. You want to, I'll show you real quick. So what you do is first... Push it down a little bit. That's gonna add water to it. Push all the way down and whoop, that flashes it. Pretty simple. Uh, there's this little guy right here for, uh, you know, so you don't hit it pretty hard, but got that right there. Um, let's see, we went over the inside. You do have this nifty medicine cabinet right here. Uh, it's actually quite nice. Good tons of space there. Uh, this right here, pretty standard, hot, cold. Um, this is another one of those uh, nightlight things. So there's two of them, one at the front, one at the back. Furnace, let me go over this guy right here. Pretty simple. Off, if you want it warm. You turn it on. I don't know if you can hear that fan. Um, I am actually sweating really bad right now, so I don't want the heat. Uh, I turned off the AC so you could actually hear me. Uh, AC, let's go over that. Pretty simple. Um, simple operation. You know, you can simply say right here, temperature that you want. Of course, we want it as cold as it'll get. And then uh, right here, you can select kind of the mode um, between just fan or high fan, low cool, that activates the actual air conditioning, high cool, turn off, flip it all the way, and you're done. You do have another one of those outlets with um, two USBs and two regular 120 volt outlets. Um, you can kind of set things right here, or if you have some devices that are charging, plug in right there, toss them up here, pretty nice. Here's one of the most important things that I almost forgot to go over water heater so right now i'll turn it off to turn on the water heater or run some propane make sure i'll just kind of zoom in there make sure you simply go on that turns on the water heater that's all you have to do uh you don't have to go outside and ignite it the generator so just so you know if you're not plugged into power is when you have to use the generator and make sure that the cable the 30 amp cable is connected to the generator and i'll show you that in the other video when i go over the outside uh, amenities and how to use it but if you want to turn on the generator the only thing you do is push start and hold there you go so make sure you hold until the light stays red and then test levels you just hold it'll tell you how full your gray tank is your black tank your fresh water LP, uh, your propane, and your battery condition all at once. You just hold it. You'll be able to see one third, two thirds full. Um, so that pretty much sums up everything.